guys, what is going on? My name is Night Guardian, and welcome back to another video. Now, in this video, we are going to be playing some Clash of Clans. Now, I know my voice did get a little bit deeper, just a little bit though. Um, now, if you guys go ahead and look over here, um, the the new update is actually going to have a bolt. Now, about like two months ago. Um, a bunch of people, they leaked out this information, and at first, I thought, no, it wasn't gonna happen, but apparently, it's actually here now, and if, um, you guys wanna see the video on this, and it is actually quite funny, you guys wanna go ahead and go into this little area, right here, and, um, where, like, you go and get your events and everything, and go into news, um, where, like, um, you, like, see all of the updates, like, um, the queens and stuff, and as you guys can see, um, we have two videos that you could watch on YouTube. One of them says, What's that on the shore? and uh, at the bottom it says, Find out where this mysterious boat came from. And um, the other one says, Captain's Log Day One A New Land Means New Possibilities. So, if you guys want to watch them, they're pretty good animations of Clash of Clans. Um, and if you guys know anything about Clash of Wama, I have been missing that so much. Like, I love, like, I loved, I loved watching that. Like, because it, it was just really funny all in all. So, if you guys know any information on when it's going to be, um, season two is going to be released, please, t t but I, I can't even talk today, but please, um, consider me as the first person you tell. All right, so we're going to go ahead and go into attack with this. Uh, I'm pretty sure I have wizards in my clan castle. Now, always ask for balloons or anything to, like, just support your dragons. Um, but yeah, we're gonna try to find a pretty good Town Hall 7 base. Um, because usually the, the Town Hall 8s are, like, really hard to beat. Now, this guy has a decent amount of loot, but I'm usually looking about, uh, 200,000 loot. Um, because, um, that's what I need. Alright, so this one isn't actually too bad. Uh, uh, but I don't, I don't really think so. Wait, okay, so what I'm mainly going for is gold. So, yeah, I'm probably going to attack this. Alright, so, uh, let's see. So, um, let's see, what side are we going to attack from first? Alright, let's attack from this side just because the little air horn thing is over there. Um, so now, just take out a bunch of, um, uh, so, like, what you want to do is you want to place your dragons first. Um, so then they distract, um, the, uh, of course, those, um, the, uh, what is it called? The air defense. Now, what you guys can do is you guys can get lightning. I really don't care. Um, but get something that can actually, like, kind of just help you guys destroy, like, one of the air defenses that you're not going for. Um... Okay, so, uh, now, um, the main part is, um, the wage, because the wage is, like, probably one of the most important parts, otherwise, this attack really wouldn't be that good, um, but, yeah, the wage really does help a whole bunch, and there we go, um, it's, this is a pretty easy attack strategy, and you could, you could get a bunch of two crowns, um, now, if you guys don't get this right off the bat, that doesn't mean you should stop trying to use it. Because the thing is, um, it's yeah, everybody has a first time with a bunch of attacks. Um, so, um, just keep using it and over time you guys will get better. Because I know when I first used this attack strategy, I was horrible at it. Like, I didn't even know like where to place my balloons. I only placed it in one place. Uh, the air mines got it. Um, but yeah. So, um, we have three dragons left on the battlefield. I have to say, um, my, um, the way I placed my troops was a bit lousy. Um, and this guy looks like an inactive base. Why are you saving up that gem box? And why do you have, uh, oh, okay, no, I, I didn't mean to put a spell. Um, but, and, and why do you still have, like, all these tree shrubs or whatever? Um, but yeah, so um, we only have a little bit of time, so I'll go ahead and speed this up for you guys. So yeah. And there we go. So there we go. We got a, pr a pretty decent amount of loot. And uh, there we go. Yeah, I've been promoted. Thank you. I'm in gold three now, finally. Uh, okay, so... 
There we go. So, so far, we're looking so good. Our base is looking pretty good. Hey, hey, we got seven owls shield. That's pretty good. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get ready to use this attack again. Just because it's a little bit, uh, it's like a, a really good attack on and off. I probably should upgrade my rage spell. Um, I'm probably going to get around that. But, so I have all of my defenses upgraded except, um for uh, the air sweeper that's what it's called not the air horn the air sweeper and the hidden tesla i need to upgrade those two uh okay i'm gonna go ahead and we solve my traps real quick um who actually attacked me uh, i've been losing a, a lot of attacks with my base but i i but i've been winning a lot i've been on that grind i i'll be actually completely honest with you guys i haven't been playing clash of clans for a while i've been mainly playing clash royale and I'll be completely honest with you guys, I've kind of lost interest in like Clash of Clans and like um, Clash Royale because they really haven't added anything new. Like the Bandit, the Witch, the Heal Spell, and like um, the Bats. But here's the thing, like the first two cards that were released were like the Night Witch um, and like the Bandit. But, like, at least get some common cards in there first before you get the legendaries. Because usually, most likely, normal players aren't going to get the bandit right off the, like, bat like that. Um, but, yeah, I'm going to just ask for some defensive cards. Uh, no, I'm actually going to save my shield. But we'll go ahead and look in my attack log. Because I've been winning quite a bit of battles. Now, this guy actually had a little open space right there. And you guys can see it right there. So what I do is I put my lightning spell there and it does get a whole a bunch of damage. Then I just place my balloons and um, then I place my can castle balloons. Um, now, listen, the air defenses are like literally your worst enemy. Like they kill me instantly. Like look at this. Like, uh, yeah, I barely even have any of like more of my clan castle troops. And look at how low it is now. Um, but over here, my dragons are literally just slowly taking things apart. Um, and yeah, yeah, as we can see, it's not looking too good for the balloons right now. Like the Teslas, they literally got them. Um, but yeah, so th this was an all in all pretty good attack. Um, make sure you guys save your minions to the end though, because they do help a lot for cleaning up, um, and everything like that. And there you go. Um, so that's pretty much the end. And here's a tip to people who make bases. Don't make bases that are completely squirrels. Because then all of your stuff, um, it will be looted and the walls won't be that good. Um, and because, as you guys can see, I have different sections in my base. Um, but as if in this guy's base, um, if we take a look at it, it's just a huge squirrel. So all they need to break into is just one little wall. And, um, that could be really it for, like, your whole base. Hey, this guy's using some dragons. Um, now, speaking of dragons... If you guys are wondering what to upgrade first in your laboratory, definitely do the dragons as soon as you can. Um, unfortunately, uh, I've, I'm, I'm still trying to get the dragons. I, I actually try to save up my loot um, just because I like having enough like spare loot just in case. Um, and uh, yeah, usually what I do is I'll be completely honest with you. I don't really spend my dark elixir on my um barbarian king, I normally spend gems just because I don't really see a nice use. Um, in like a fifth builder hut, like I can see to some people why it's useful, but I don't think it's really like that useful to buy um a builder hut for 2000 gems when you already have like four so that's why i use my gems mainly on like my heroes like i like to use it on my barbarian king um i'm trying to get a level two i'm trying to save up some gems um but anyways yeah uh, i'm gonna show you guys one more attack um now this guy it was just sad i didn't want to really attack this guy and uh yeah i accidentally did that you guys didn't see anything well you might have um, but there you go. Um, this is uh, my attack strategy right here. As you guys can see, um, we're just pretty much demolishing his base right now. And I actually didn't have any clan castle troops, um, which was um, a pretty cool thing. Um, um, and uh, I'm actually surprised this town hall six 
actually did a um, good job, like, taking out my balloons and everything. The main part of this is mainly your balloons and dragons. Like, the Barbarian King, you don't necessarily need a Barbarian King, but it's nice, at least, to have a Barbarian King um, whenever, like, you're attacking, just because it could take out all the, like, outside buildings um, and everything like that. But I haven't done the Clash of Clans, um, like, video in a while. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Comment down below and subscribe if this video did help you. And I recommend you guys check out all of my other content. Because the stuff there is pretty sweet. But anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you guys enjoyed. Comment down below. Yeah, I always said that. But as always, guys, stay speedy. Peace.